Welcome back. Uh, without further ado, let's get a coding. We see there are five notifications from the official Stockfish team, um, four of which uh, seem that perhaps the official Stockfish team has merged something, and the fifth of which is a proposal, which looks excellent to me. I've always liked the Clank compiler. Let's take a look. GCP, one of our um, more well-known developers. Uh, yeah. I would like Clang. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see. You know, I... Uh, hmm. I guess we'll wait and see how that turns out. No sense I'm voting it yet, but the notion that there's interest in starting to use Clang is delightful. Um, so there's pawns tuning, opposite checks simplified, another pawn tuning, and a search CPP parameter tuning. So let's see what this looks like in my copy of the repository over here. Chuck Norris originally appeared in the Street Fighter 2 video game but was removed by beta testers because every button caused him to do a roundhouse kick. When asked about this glitch, Norris replied, that's no glitch. Yeah, that's, that's delightful. Uh, last I checked, oh, I have local changes to improve performance of uh, my bot when I deploy it to my cloud instance. All right, now I have no local changes that could conflict. Um, uh, clean and get full. Let's see what we end up with. We have four build conflicts. Um, where do we start? Let's start with pawn set CP, just the top of the list. All right, they retuned all these values, so a uh, weak lever and unopposed here changed. This should be 4 and 58. This should be 13 and 22. 24. So that accounts for these two. Isolated. 3 comma 15. Up from 2 comma 15. Uh, doubled. It's doubled early should be 20 comma 7. And there it is. It's even formatted the same way just to be consistent. 13 comma 51. 1351 backward 9,22 and that indicates the beginning of this merge conflict which is now resolved. All right, pawn CPP is merged. Position that CPP. Um that looks messy. Let's come back to it. Only one. Let's get to the other files. P square table CPP. Uh, crap. Uh, all right. So. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll grab these eight lines of queen values and stick them somewhere. Um, but where? Uh, that's not the correct place. All right. So we grab them from here. So I go to the next or the previous semicolon, and then go down to where it says queen. And this is where the values belong, right there. And another maintainer suggested I indent the code whenever I do this. It seems to cause problems in terms of how I actually resolve the merge conflicts to indent the code, but um, we'll stick with that approach for now. Um, all right. Okay, no other merge conflicts in the p-square table. Uh, let's check out search cpp. Uh, <laughs> I created a bit of a headache for myself by splitting variable declaration and um, definition. Thankfully, there's not too many definitions. So I'm not scanning through tons of code to find this. Prop cut margin. Uh, all right. 
right, so here this needs to drop to 44. And prop cut margin needs to be set to 209. All right, and all right here. Huh. What changed here? Oh, futility margin parent. All right, 174 and 157. 174, 157. Uh, wait. Uh, do, do, do. So, this resolves the last of those two lines, but how do I resolve this? Oh, skip early pruning was something I introduced, and I still stand by it. It evaluates to the same thing as, is there a check? But for variance, we can override that definition. All right. Uh, all right. Get status indicates we have one conflict left. The file in question is position CPP. And before we get to try to merging it, let's look through. Search CPP parameter tuning. This only touched the file by the name of uh, search.cpp. One file changed. So, yep, congratulations, hurrah. Okay, we've merged this. Pawn tuning. So that, again, the question, oh god. What files actually changed here when we were all said and done? Oh, smoke cleared. Pawns CPP and P square table CPP. Neither of which are our position CPP file. So we tuned some values, ultimately was successful. Hurrah, congratulations. All right, next merge. Ampassant check simplified. I think this is the one that we're having all the confusion about. Okay, this is what we're going to have to figure out. Let's mark as on red, come back to the other one here. Pawn tuning uh, was resolved. Pawn CPP. P score table CPP. All right, congratulations. Well done. Et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, this is the final file to merge. And some stuff changed, but okay. Um. <laughs> is there a big gap here? No. Set state at 252. What does this look like in my copy? Where is my first conflict? All right, so set state up here merged successfully. It's just this aspect of the merge failed. All right. Uh, <laughs> well. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's try taking this block, this conditional block of four lines, put it after that other condition. Start with this. Okay. Next. Um, how did this change? One line becomes three. Is that what happened over here? One line. It's unchanged other than removal of the semicolon and two additional lines were added. And a comment line D here was added. So, yeah. This. Okay. Have I preserved whatever knowledge was originally present? Um, I had this condition down here to try to override the value of ampassant in cases where it puts the player to move into check. Um, this comparison really doesn't need to be done if ampassant is already false. Wait, why am I doing it this way? This is confusing. Um, 
I wonder if I had this declared above like so here. It seemed to make more sense to do an if-else pattern here. Yeah, why am I doing it this other way? So, we'll crop these five lines, stick it here. That's easier to follow. So you can't put yourself in check if you're playing atomic chess. But otherwise, all these other conditions still apply. Um, now, if I were crazy, I could weave in this is atomic somewhere in that series of conditions. Um, wait. Okay, where? There's a C of parentheses here. Oh. Okay, that's a strange way to format it. Had I been formatting this, I would have stuck this pipe right there to clarify that these two lines are together. Um, but hey, I'm not the official Stockfish dev who approved this. They have their own standard, so be it. But yeah, to me, this would have been nice to know that these two lines are grouped together. Um... I think this is okay. Code readability at some point um, is quite important. All right. Um, so what we've changed are files position, pawns, piece square table, and one other, none of which are the move generator. The move generator is fine. So we've successfully, as far as I know, merged four changes. I'm sorry. Um, hang on. This isn't in the move generator, but the move generator calls this. We need to test the move generator now. Uh, yeah, this is position set. That's kind of important for setting the position correctly before you go to verify that the moves are generated correctly. So we need to test the move generator as well as um, all the benchmark positions to a depth of 13. Um, no need to do anything more fancy than that, but we need to do this. So let her rip. Compile this... wait, wait a second. Make clean. Um, where where's my make command? Bump that up to six threads at once, please. Or six jobs at once, spread across four CPUs. Um, it's not going to go much faster, but it will ensure less waiting. But also, if I have to go through multiple iterations, I want things to not uh, have a huge latency each time around. Oh, oh, oh. Version conflict marker. How did that show up there? What the hell? Oh! Oops. Uh, shit. Okay. So... Hmm. Accumulator state... Okay, so the accumulator state stuff stays here. It's just the set state is removed. So my stuff about don't use the accumulator state manipulator uh, still applies. Okay, there are other merge conflicts. Um, jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay, what the hell? Oh my goodness. One, two, three, one, two. Oh, sorry. One, two, one, two. There's only two conflicts here. Um, why are there two conflicts? What's so different now? Okay, we're using blockers for king side to move instead of using the other expression. Um... The type of move is opposite. We used to be doing this big old 
stuff. Uh, okay. Um, okay, here we are. This enormous block got reduced to two lines. Fuck. All right. Uh, we're going to think about what that means for variance in just a second, but let me consider this first. The third part of this merge. Um, the double push pawn. Yeah, okay, we've looked at this before. Not on stream, but I've looked at it. Um, the double push pawn blocked a check. Ampassant removes the blocker. The only possibility, the only possible discovered check that wasn't through the capture square, wasn't through the from square. So the king would have to be on the same rank as the rook for this to expose a discovered check. I agree. Did I do anything special for variance here? Um, I don't think I had to. I'm confused why this is indented. Oh, because there are enough lines of code here, the curly brace at the beginning of this scope was removed, but not the one at the end. The one at the end is too close to the zone of the merge conflict. The curly brace at the beginning, even though it's symmetric with the one at the end, um, that's not how file merging works or resolves. Okay. Um, so the question is, do I need to take any of this one, two, three, four, five, and move this above? Uh, this return statement here and reintroduce the curly brace. Um, well, let's stick the brace in before I lose my mind. Um, and the question is, do we need... Well, let's just put it there. Uh, we may or may not need this, but either way, that would be replacing this. And the question is, do we need these five lines of code here? Does it serve any useful purpose? So the way that we implement this comparison now checks, is the from square of an opposite move on the same rank as the king? And it's so forth. Um, so I can't really imagine that the gridness of um, grid chess, where pieces have to alternate light and dark squares, you can't play an opposite move in grid chess, can you? No, I'm sorry, you can, but it has to. It, I'm thinking incorrectly. No, grid chess is a piece has to move to a different quadrant every turn, which has nothing to do with whether or not. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Let me set up a position. Um, it does actually have some relevance. So, that's not the best way to set up a position. Can I get to the board editor? Board editor. Alright, clear board. So let's stick White's King over here, and a pawn, and a pawn, and a rook, and a king. Stick the rook there. Um, so yeah, let's uh, analyze this. Wrong player to move. Silly me. Um, black to play. Analysis board. Flip. So black plays this. White cannot play this en passant move. Except if it's grid chess. In grid chess, it is legal to do this because the rook is in the same quadrant as the king. I think. Could be misremembering the rules of grid chess. Why the hell did I ever accept this code? I don't know. Oh. It's playing. Okay, so each quadrant here is a 2x2 two two thing. That makes more sense. Now, if the board is divided this way, then this pattern of um, king, pawn, pawn, rook can never fit inside a 2x2 two two box. 
So the code that was originally there is overkill, as is what is currently there. Um, yeah. So we can be clever and remove this comparison, which was never necessary in the first place. There we go. Um, up here. This entire block of all this stuff. Oh, Ampasand is illegal in Night Relay Chess, period. Um, in Relay Chess, it's uh, permissible to do... Hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll figure this out. Yeah, this grid comparison is not necessary. So all this is going to go. Um, pretty sure this goes too. Yeah, Knight Relay Chess, it's, it's flat out illegal to do such a move. Um, in Relay Chess, it's... Alright, let's take this brace and move it down here. Take this comparison and remove it. Um, where's my... Okay, I guess I've already removed my... This thing. Yeah, the head of the merge conflict's been removed. So, logically, this is what we're aiming for. Um... Yeah, Knight Relay Chess, you just can't en passant, period. In Relay Chess, you could en passant as long as there's not a relayed attacker. Um, so, a concept here. Do I still have a board available? Yeah, let's go to the board editor. Good, it reset the board for me. Um, how do we even define this? Oh, I think I know how I can set up an example. Wait. Uh, yeah, trying to set one up that, like, accidentally puts my own king in check is not super easy. D4. E5. D takes E5. Knight F6. E4. Knight takes E4. Queen f3, queen e7, queen takes e4, a6, queen d3, d5. So here, en passant is illegal by normal means in standard chess. Queen f3. In relay chess, um, a6, queen a5, queen d3. In relay chess, this is likewise illegal because of, uh, the queen defending a king allows this king to move like a queen. The king that can move like a queen could capture the other king. So here en passant will be illegal in relay chess, but not in standard chess. Uh, so that's what we're trying to check for in this condition. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is as simple as this merge conflict is going to get. Uh, do I ever switch on... Oh, I have var declared already. Um, yeah, so here I could say case whatever this case is. Oh. Um. Right. If we take a look at types.h, relay variant. Yeah, night relay variant and relay variant. Uh, wait. Wait a second. Um. 
Wait, these are all subvariants. All right. So what I'm wanting to switch on isn't var. Uh, it's subvar. Where did I just put the switch? Yeah. Can't spell fall through. All right, there we go. That looks right. Oh, but now things like KSQ, etc., are not defined anymore. I have to go to find them. Um, is us okay? Us is defined. Um, let's see. And then the king. Yeah, square king us. There we go. Wait. Is occupied not defined anymore? Damn. Um. Yeah, what was removed in this block of code? <laughs> ah, shnikes. Guess we're going to declare that. That's a bit ugly. Uh, but what can you do? Um, wait a second. There might be an easier way to do some of this. Yeah, so we're checking... Is the from square aligned with one of the king blockers? Or if a from square is not aligned with one of the king blockers? That concept doesn't really work so well in relay chess anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, wait, wait. How was this coded before I started changing anything? Okay, so this. My concern is that um, by having removed this block, somehow I changed the control flow. I don't think I did. If case, if we're doing relay chess, we conditionally would return false. There was no conditional return true or anything to like here, and there's just not even an else. So yeah, fall through is the appropriate term for that. Uh, all right. Uh, build it. Take two. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's. Somebody was really determined to simplify this code, and this code has been confusing for about a decade, so getting it changed was took a small act of Congress, but seems to have been worth it. Um, wait, what's this? It's necessary for previous to be initialized in this way because the legality check relies on the existence of st previous. Yeah, so that's a side effect that, through the w other way the code had been structured, it was an implicit side effect, and now it's an explicit side effect. Um, our problem for relay chess is that this might not be perfect. Um, blockers for... Oh, well, for relay chess, we don't rely on this stuff anyway. Uh, because of the code I was just a second ago showing you. Oh, right. That's funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I got the idea to put all this code in uppercase. 
The word is case, but that does not mean the case needs to be uppercase. Let's try to build this again, perhaps. Position CPP was... Oh, yeah, I forgot a seventh... Oh, this failed. <laughs> Capsk is undefined. Of course. Um... Oh, enumeration values not handled. Yes. Okay, so that will generate a warning. So that warning, I'm sorry. Hang on. Um, that warning's because I forgot to put the default label in place. But yeah, um, what was the definition of capture square? Is two minus minus pawn push from our perspective. Um, there we go. Now, where was that declared separately because it was reused? No, there wasn't a cert about this. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't especially feel like reintroducing the assert. Um, let's build it, see how the build goes this time. <laughs> I cannot jump from a switch statement to this case label. Uh, what? Excuse me? Is this not how you use fall through? Okay, whatever. This the use of this switch statement is only confusing matters. Um, yeah, we're gonna remove the switch statement. And just go back to normal structured code. So. And then over here, uh, instead of night relay chess, it's simply relay chess. Um, and declare all this within the same scope. Don't need the fall through, don't need the, this case label, etc. There we go, that's more like it. Um, yeah, this will be easier to read, easier to write. All right, let's do local commit and rebuild again. Okay, we missed a parenthesis on nine six nine nine five. Where's oh, right there. How many iterations will it take for me to get all the punctuation in place? 999, because I copied a line of code. Um, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, if I had a language server built into Vim here, that would save me a couple iterations. I'd be able to see upon saving the file instead of upon compiling it that there were errors. But uh, this could cause saving the file to get pretty noisy if the file's flooding over with highlights of caused by errors or merge conflicts or whatever. All right, test number one. Oh, perf testing succeeded. So all variants from their respective benchmark and start positions produced the correct number of nodes from the head of the search tree. Um, for the curious, we could take a brief look at chess programming wiki first. Um, yeah, so is there a visualization here somehow? Please, pretty please? Guess not. There's a lot of code. Here's like for each start move, if your opponent plays any move and you play any move, etc., here's how many positions you can encounter. Um, yeah, there's a lot of conversation. I'm just astounded or surprised. Astonished, not astounded. 
astonished that there is not a diagram here explaining just putting a search tree, putting some numbers on it, some sort of tree or graph, but whatever. Both of our tests passed successfully. Uh, I did not forget to chicken in or to add any of my changes to the commit. So let's push it. It's all good. Push them, baby. It says Grandmaster CR1. Um, get rebase master. Um, okay. And then I got a version of the code base that does not rely on neural networks. And then I'm going to deploy to the cloud um, a version that um, plays all the variants that stock uh, that Lee Chess supports. So here we got my bot. It's all set up to play games. It's not currently in the middle of the game. We don't need speech synthesis on for this. Um, earlier I had been attempting to get um, um, speech to text to generate moves in the keyboard move entry field, which apparently has a dependency on speech generation, which makes no sense to me. But okay, maybe somehow the same drivers or same technology or something's used in some way for both of those, so fine. Uh, certainly after you speak a move, uh, the website tries to speak it back as you confirm or uh, reject uh, the site's parsing of your speech or a script in the browser rather had parsed speech and anyway. You can reject uh, and say, no, that's not what I meant. I wanted to play something else instead. Well, uh, there is a comic about, oh, never mind. Um, I was going to say developers uh, are slacking off when things are compiling, but I, that did not take any longer than I had expected. It, uh took maybe half a second longer than I expected, but um, that's okay. And I was immediately surprised that my surprise had whatever. So, yeah, if I try to play a game of... Let's play some exciting two-second crazy house against Stockfish. Good luck. Uh... What? Uh oh. Abort mission. Uh oh. Shit. <laughs> All right, we gotta flag it. Gotta flag the bot. Um, it's not looking likely at this point. Just need a time win. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, you win. Well played. <laughs> hey, the code works. Yay me, the code works. All right, well, that concludes our merge resolution. Yep, uh, successfully deployed to the cloud. And you could try out the other variants over here against uh, Go to Leisure Bot. 